Right guys, it's the 6th of April and for once it's not raining in the UK. So we're going to get the barbecue out and this gives me the opportunity to get my new plancher on the barbecue. Now, it's a hefty beast. Let's unwrap it. It's made by Smoke Rig Barbecue carbon steel and these are about 80 pounds delivered bit of a bag it's 11 kilograms of carbon steel smoke rib barbecue so what we've got to do now is we've got to get this seasoned up today it's 11 kilograms of carbon steel first of all we need to season this so that's what we're going to do first season it and then I've got some beautiful bullet steaks French French call it bullet steak uh, the place I buy it from calls it rumpet it's basically a poor man's um, fillet steak really about half the price but it's really lean lovely meat so I'm going to show you that 21 day aged steak and we're going to cook that on here and give it a go so in terms of price um, you've only got a few options really I'm in the UK this was 80 pounds which is probably what about getting on for a hundred dollars but that includes a 20% tax that's delivered so it's a bit of a bargain the Kamado Joe Big Joe uh, carbon steel plancher uh, costs uh, I think about 230 pounds so it's, this is a lot cheaper and it does the same job hopefully so let's get this seasoned up on the grill show you how we do that and then I'm going to cook those bullet steaks <laughs> So what we want to do here is, first of all it says to wash it, I suppose it's to get rid of the oils and the cutting oils and things, so we'll give it a bit of a wash, a scour. Like so, nice and clean. Now we're going to get it onto the barbecue heated up and we're going to season it with just some rapeseed or vegetable oil. So this is it placed within the Weber Summit. You can see it's a real beast. Fills, fits perfectly. Fills up the entire summit. So I've got those coals heating up. So we, what we're gonna do is let this get up to about 200 degrees centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit. And then we can put some oil on it and season it. Oh look, it's already getting very hot, isn't it? You can test if it's hot enough. You can see where the heat is, can't you? So you can test if it's hot enough, a bit of water. So it dances on the surface. That's great. So let's try the paper towel. So what I want to do is coat it up. because there's the muck from the side of the barbecue coming off a bit there. Let's coat the whole thing up like this. And let that burn in. And it should start to go dark. So we've had two coatings on it already. I've got to t I've just had to go and pick my son up, so. Oh yes, look at that now. You see how it's gone black? So let's put another layer on now. It's been my third. You a little bit more oil for these huge ones. Got a bit of a slope on it, hasn't it? It's, uh, what we hopefully will get is it even blacker. As the oil bakes, bakes on there. Uh, I'm going to show you some smash burgers, why not? So I've just been to get some mince and we're going to get some smash burgers on to keep us going until the steaks are ready. Now for all you Summit users who are getting a plancher, you're wondering 
what temperature to keep to have this summit at. I think about probably about um, two two five centigrade, four fifty is a good temperature to heat it up to. Um, with a full load of coals, I'm finding that sort of there on the bottom grey, around about the middle, just above on the bottom grey and um, cracked about two thirds open on the top. So it keeps it in that level. It's, it's actually just warming up again now, so I've just closed the lid. Right, I'm going to do actually one more season in which will make it five. So I'm really going overboard here, but <clears throat> let's get one more seasoning on and uh, then we're ready for that smash burger. Right guys, so this is red hot now. It's looking good. So let's give these smashes a, a go. So look at all this real estate I've got here now. This is just fantastic. Could maybe do 20 smashes at once on this. Absolutely fantastic. This is what you need. So. Absolutely solid to use. Hot, 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 hot. I'm lid down for a minute. Whew. Don't take long with that sort of temperature. Look at that, beautiful non -sli wow, so slippy. Wow, this is a problem, I have to hold it, hold it with this, it's slipping around that much. They're going to take no time, no time, salt, pepper, Pepper on there, <coughs> bit of salt. Got some proper cheese slices here, so I'll just put two on. Nope. Like that. Cracked black pepper cheese slices. Oh, they're not coming out very easily, unfortunately. So I'll just put a couple of bits on like that. Is that a second to melt? And we're ready to put these in the buns. Smashies look good. that way around. Put it that way around so the cheese is in the middle. So you can scrape it through the holes. Mm. Hopefully you can see that inside. Beautiful. Mm. Can't beat a smash burger. So we've got these 21 day on the bone aged. They call them rum pets where I get them from Blackerall Farm in Yorkshire. Um, local cattle and everything but actually it's what the French I think call bullet steak. So I call it poor man's fillet. It's about half the price, but it's still very lean and it's, it's very easy to cut into. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put some salt on these and um, leave the salt on them to, to dry brine for half an hour or so, an hour. Right guys, I normally reverse sear steaks, but this is for my test rear really here with the plancher because we're having steaks tonight so I thought I'd do steaks. So let's put some butter in there in the middle like that. Mm. 
Oh. Right, that'll do. So I'm going to do is a couple of a, a couple of minutes each side. Sprinkle that butter around a bit. So these are looking good, let's get these steaks off then. Mm. They must be medium now. Let's get them off and see what they look like. So here we are. Steaks done. Let's cut into one. That's nice. Medium well. Look how soft that is. Look at that, melt in your mouth. Absolutely. These are brilliant. If you can ever find these, they're as good as almost as good as a fillet. Really good. So soft. Mmm.